we can board a ferry to the Ross Island. The regular ferry costs about $10 and taking about 15 minutes. But due to the time constraint, GKM Grand Hotel helped us arrange a private jet boat so we will not need to wait or swim across. Once again, thanks guys. So we're on our way to Ross Island where the British lived. Um, so that they were separate from the prisoners at the cellular jail. If the prisoners were to escape and try to swim away, they're just going to encounter more British. So it was a win-win for the British, not so much for the inmates. <laughs> your private boat might be fast, but there's no guarantee of a smooth ride. So if you're scared of seasick, eat light beforehand. So this might be a rocky ride, but it's only five minutes to Ross, Ross Island. The island is situated 3 kilometers east of downtown Port Blair and named after Marine oh. Surveyor Sir Daniel Ross. The island was first discovered by him for guarding the Port Blair Harbor. It served as a ministry headquarters in the capital of Ottoman and Nicobar until the earthquake that rocked in 1941. Today, this historic ruin are a popular tourist attraction. The best of all, at the time of this filming, the entrance ticket is only 30 rupees for 50 cents and a plastic free zone. At the entrance of Ross Island, there's a wall of history and one thing to note is that during the deadly tsunami in 2004, if it wasn't for Ross Island, the main island of Port Blair would have been wiped out. During the revolt of uh, 1857, the British had to flee to Ross Island as they settled and lived there for about the next 90 years, until 9 months before the Japanese takeover, when Ross Island experienced an earthquake, which caused many people to leave the island. Except for the brief time when Japanese occupied, the Ross Island was never permanently resettled, resulting in wildlife such as deer, rabbit, and peacock to flourish and roam freely around the island. I was gonna pet the deer, but he's peeing, so I'm gonna leave him to do his business. And a chance for you to get close if you are fast. Oh, you didn't like that? Go ahead. There are also free tours led by some of the locals. This lady is giving a tour right now. If you'd like to give a little donation at the end to show your appreciation, it is great. Um, so here on Ross Island, the British had everything they need. A general store, a water distillation plant so that they could uh, have their own freshwater pool. There's bakeries um, and all sorts of things. Let's see what's inside. Here, there's a sound and light show that takes place in this converted bakery that they painted the walls white and the entire show fits within its frame. They even got a cute little beach. That little beach is too small for both of us. So let's visit one of the most famous beaches in Port Blair. But I'm not going anywhere before cooling down first. This gentleman sells ice cream here for you all if you want to cool off. He has been selling it for the last 10 years. Uh, this is all okay yet. Locally made. It's melting. It's so hot here. This is made from burnt milk, all natural. 